Chapter 1.1 You are listening at FameTV.info The Duchy of Trudy.it was a family that helped the emperor establish the foundation of the empire during the early days of its founding. And it still continued to hold the highest status in the empire, according to most people the two pillars that supported the empire were the imperial house and the Duchy of Trudy. The Trudy family's history was considered as the history of the empire. Meanwhile as a result of his performance, during the territorial disputes that took place more than 20 years ago, J. Trudy was bestowed the title of the only Archduke in the Empire, the title of the Archduke was not awarded because of a single victory, but also because there was no famine, with a stable industry as well as the fact that the people in the duchy lead the highest quality of life in the Empire. The wealth of the Duke of Trudy that overflowed like a never-drying spring of water was another crucial factor. It was so vast that it was said to exceed that of the imperial family. Because of the enormity of the wealth, there was no reason to raise the tax and if something happened on the estate, the duke would immediately solve it by spending a huge amount of money. At the same time, he was also feared because of the legendary and brilliant achievements on the battlefield. The godlike power of Duke Trudy gave rise to the admiration and absolute obedience of the knights, numerous anecdotes that were conveyed by the people of the duchy quickly became legendary. The enemy empire is more scared of the Duke of Trudy than the emperor and dare not attack him ever again, even the emperor was related to the Trudy family. That I in addition, the Duke of Trudy has a strong successor in his son, Jeremy Trudy. This meant that even if a problem arose with the archduke in the future, the Trudy family will not be shaken, basically, the Trudy family was the center of the empire and was the object of envy and power. However, the most famous figure in the Duchy of Trudy was neither the Archduke Trudy, the only Archduke of the empire, nor Jeremiah Trudy his successor. If someone wanted to ask the Archduke for favors they didn't go to either the Archduke or his heir, but to the one who could get it done quickly, there were quite a few brief and vivid rumors about that character which when annotated, could be expressed as, the real life of the duke and, the hidden talent of the family. Audria Trudy, the protagonist of the rumors and the youngest daughter of the duke. In addition the rumor was both true and not exaggerated. In fact the rumors were rather diminished. Because she does have an absolute influence over the duke that it was for this reason, that the people were more cautious about their words in front of her, than they were in front of the emperor. It wasn't overkill even if they fell flat before Audria on the road. This was because they had witnessed several people who had said something wrong being buried alive in the empire, Audria was the only one who was capable of disarming the stern and cynical Archduke Trudy, in a moment and make him melt like candy in the mouth. His heir, Jeremiah Trudy was also onerous. But Jeremiah was also vexatiously affectionate towards Audria, as if he was competing with his father, Audria, I bought everything from the shop, because I didn't know you liked. It was Jeremiah Trudy who said so. He left his family for long periods of time due to war or diplomacy. And each time he returned, he showered his sister Audria with gifts. It was an assortment of gifts and the best part of the gifts were the dresses and the jewelry to match them, whenever he had to go far away, Jeremiah Trudy tended to grab the hem of Audria's dress and not let go of it all day, even when she walked around, or while she ate and even when guests came to visit them and after spending the entire day together he still left with a very reluctant face, Audria Trudy, the famous daughter and the youngest child of Archduke Trudy, who despite her marriage, still lived in the Duke's house. She was not separated, widowed or divorced. Her handsome husband was still alive and was a brilliant man, Archduke Trudy and Jeremiah Trudy found him lacking, despite the fact that he was a first-class groom. He was handsome, capable and faithful to Audria. The main point of contention for them was the fact that no matter how great their family was, when she married, she would have to change her family name to that of her husband's and become a member of his household instead. It was a custom that should be followed even by an imperial princess, only Audrey was different from the rest of the women. Though she was married, she enjoyed her newly wedded life with her husband in the duke's mansion, I really envy you. How much should your family love you that you can still continue to live in your family home after marriage? How good will it be if I could also live with my husband in my natal family home, without having to go to an unfamiliar place? That's right. 
My family home is the only place where everyone is on my side. I'm so envious. The envy of the other young children towards Audria continued. Not everyone's family supported them unconditionally, but the Duke of Trudy was categorically on Audria's side. That was an undeniable fact there was only one way that Audria could stay in the duchy after marriage. And that was the fact that her husband married into her house instead. Normally in the empire, marrying into the bride's house was considered disgraceful for men, but Audria's husband was proud of the fact that he married into her house. Somehow, it happened that way, it's not a big deal, I think it's great they love you like that, though she wanted to say something scathing in reply to that, she did not do so. That's right Audria was envied more and more because of these points. In fact, Audria sighed as she listened closely to the complimentary conversation going around her and swallowed the words that she wanted to say when she saw the sparkling eyes of the other children turn to her, nobody knows how much I struggled to reach the level I am at present, where I am able to enjoy everything. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.